Hi, welcome to Edu Inspire channel. Today we will talk about the division using the second sutra of Vedic Maths that is Nikhilam Navatash Charmam Dashitaha. This is also known as Nikhilam division. The meaning of this sutra is all from 9 and the last from 10. The formula can be very effectively applied while dividing the numbers with the numbers which are nearer to the base like 10, 100, 1000 that is to the powers of 10. There is one more term that is being used is complement. This is the difference between the number and the base. Let's go through different examples to understand how it works. Case 1 when the remainder is less than divisor. Let's take the simple example of dividing 13 by 9. Here base is 10, so the complement becomes 10 minus 9, that is 1. Since the complement is 1, we need not to be worry about it. Let's split the number in two parts. The left hand side is for quotient and the right hand part is for remainder by a slash. Since the base is 10, so put the slash line after one digit from the right. Put the first digit of the dividend as it is under the horizontal line. Once it is done, put the same digit under, under the second number of the dividend and so on. Now add the numbers and that gives the quotient as 1 and remainder as 4. Now let's take the example of a 3 digit number that is 401 and let's try to divide it by 9. Here we split the number and put a slash before the 1 digit from right. Take down 4 in the first digit of the number as it is under the horizontal line. Now add this digit to the second digit of the dividend to get the second digit of the quotient. Now add this digit with the third digit of the divisor to get the remainder. So the quotient becomes 44 and the remainder becomes 5. Now, let's take a bigger example, say 132101 and try to divide it by 9. We will follow the same steps as we taken in the previous examples. First, split the number by putting a slash before the last digit. Second, take down the first digit as it is under the horizontal line. Take this digit and add this with the second digit of the number. Fourth, keep doing it till the last digit that is till we get the remainder. This gives us final answer that is quotient as 14677 and remainder as 8. This is how we can divide any number by 9 without facing any issue. Now let's go through the second scenario where remainder is equal to divisor. Let's take the example of dividing 45 by 9. We will follow the exactly same steps as we have done before. So this will give the quotient as 4 and the remainder as 9. Now remainder 9 is divided by divisor 9 and carry over the quotient to the quotient side. So the final quotient becomes 4 plus 1 that is 5 and the remainder becomes 0. Now let's go through the third scenario where remainder is greater than the divisor. Let's take the example of dividing 2, 4, 6 by 9. We will follow the exactly same steps as we have done before. 
so this will give the quotient as 26 and remainder as 12 here we see remainder 12 is greater than divisor 9 so here we divide the remainder 12 by 9 in the similar way and we get quotient as 1 and remainder as 3 we carry over the quotient to the quotient side and add so the final quotient becomes 26 plus 1 that is 27 and the remainder becomes 3 another example with higher divisor let's divide 10015 by 89 here base is 100 and the complement becomes 100 minus 89 that is 11 here we will see how to complement in division at high level steps will remain same and we will see how to use complement first split the number as the base is 100 we will put a slash after two digits from right we will take down the first digit at as it is under the horizontal line now multiply first digit with the complement that is 1 into 11 which become 11 and put this under second and third digit as shown on the screen add second digit with all the digits under second digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total becomes 1 now multiply total of second with the complement that is 1 into 11 and put this under third and fourth digit add third digit with all the digits under third digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total becomes 0 plus 1 plus 1 which becomes 2 now multiply total of third with the complement that is 2 into 11 and put this under fourth and fifth digit add fourth digit with all its under fourth digit and fifth digit with all the digit under fifth digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total for the fourth becomes 1 plus 1 plus 2 which becomes 4 and for fifth digit 5 plus 2 which becomes 7 so the quotient becomes 1 1 2 and the remainder becomes 47 on the similar lines let's divide 10015 by 98 here base is 100 and the complement becomes 100 minus 98 that is 02 first split the number as the base is 100 we will put a slash after two digits from right we will take down the first digit as it is under the horizontal line now multiply first digit with the complement that is 1 into 02 which becomes 02 and put this under second and third digit as shown on the screen add second digit with all the digits under second digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total becomes 0 now multiply total of second with the complement that is 0 into 02 and put this under third and fourth digit add third digit with all the digit under third digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total becomes 0 plus 2 plus 0 which becomes 2 now multiply total of third with the complement that is 2 into 02 and put this under fourth and fifth digit add fourth digit with all the digits under fourth digit and fifth digit with all the digit under fifth digit and put it under the horizontal line here the total four fourth becomes 1 plus 0 plus 0 which becomes 1 and for fifth digit 5 plus 4 becomes 9 so the quotient become 102 
and the remainder becomes 19. Now, let us take another example with even bigger divisor. Let's divide 11422 by 897. Here, base is 1000 and the complement becomes 1000 minus 897, that is 103. First, split the number. As the base is 1000, we will put a slash after 3 digits from right. We will take down the first digit as it is under the horizontal line. Now, multiply first digit with the complement that is 1 into 103 which become 103 and put this under second, third and fourth digits as shown on the screen. Add second digit with all the digits under second digit and put it under the horizontal line. Here the total becomes 2. Now multiply total of second with the complement that is 2 into 103 and put this under third, fourth and fifth digit. Add third digit with all the digits under third digit. Add fourth digit with all the digits under fourth digit and fifth digit with all the digits under fifth digit and put it under the horizontal line. Here the total for the third line becomes 4 plus 0 plus 2 that is 6 and the total for the fourth becomes 2 plus 3 plus 0 which becomes 5 and for fifth digit 2 plus 6 which becomes 8. So the quotient becomes 12 and the remainder becomes 6, 5, 8. So here we saw using Vedic Sutra, the calculation of even higher digits becomes very easy. We hope you would have liked this video. For many more informative videos, please subscribe our channel Adu Inspire and like and share the videos. Thank you.